Hi, once again, welcome back to Bhautik Digitally, yours, the sixth talk show. Here uh, we are meeting Kavita today. Guys, uh, extremely sorry, yesterday we could not come live because there was some technical reason we could not meet yesterday. But yes, we have come with Kavita today with us. And uh, yesterday we were talking about the Women's Day all across the globe. And the idea was to talk to Kavita yesterday only because it was a Women's Day. And we were so excited to go ahead with the show. But because of some technical reason, we could not go. But fortunately, we have the lady with us today. And uh, uh, welcome, Kavita. Thank you, Bhautik. And uh, thank you for inviting me this to talk show. It, it will be a one of a kind of an experience for me, you know, talking live in uh, front of a lot of people. But uh, yeah, thank you for inviting me. Yes. Wonderful. Let, let me introduce uh, about uh, Kavita, what she does. Kavita is a co-founder of MyTripKarma.com. And guys, you need to understand, you need to seriously understand this concept because she has presented this concept at so many places uh, in startup pitching as well. Uh, basically, uh, this company is all about the new experience. And what I've come to know about is like, there's a word called social traveling. So, Kavita, it's a very fascinating word to know that social traveling, we have never heard this kind of thing. So, before we proceed with the different kind of questions, can you tell me and the other audiences that what exactly do you mean by the social traveling? Yes. So, uh, first of all, uh, just to give some quick background that I've been working in travel products for last 12 years now. And for us, I think uh, travel is always a social thing, but nobody actually looks uh, look at it, you know, in, from that perspective. Because whenever usually you travel, you know, at least you tell somebody, you, uh, you know, you search for it on some website, you read the reviews, or at least, you know, inform your mom or if your girlfriend or your wife. So it's a social experience also because you also share the pictures, your stories, everything around travel is actually social. But the right. problem is, now, until Facebook was not there, you know, we, we, we could just take a picture and take a print and then show to our friends when they come to our place. But when Facebook came in picture and, you know, people started getting more social online, they started sharing their travel stories and pictures and everything. So that brought out the entire social aspect of travel, which actually it is. Because even if you will go somewhere today, you'll at least ask one or two person about the reviews. You know, how's that place? Should I go there or not? You know, yeah, so it's yeah. it's always social. So this is what we uh, call it, uh, you know, social concept. That's why it's, uh, you know, uh, uh, with my trip karma, you can do all of these things on uh, our platform. And that's why we call it, you know, social travel thing. Yeah. Okay, uh, Kavita, like then what are the reason to go with the e-commerce? Because this could have been, you know, another social media platform only. You could have gone through with this idea where people could come and they can they can share the details and, you know, the pictures and videos. But what was yeah. the reason for going with some commercial aspect on the platform? So what was the idea behind it? Yes. So uh, first of all, any travel, uh, the ultimate uh, outcome or let's say the business revenue channel is to make a booking. So someone yeah. makes a booking only then, uh, you know, uh, the travel is converted into some transaction. But uh, my trip karma, we also identified that there are so many other things which sells, not only the booking part, let's say the content, people sell content, they write blog, you know, even the photographs, images, everything. Uh, all the content, everything around the travel is uh, is a transaction. So right. even uh, um, so, with my trip we have a lot of unique revenue model and revenue channels that we have identified. One of them is that no one in the world is doing them right now. What we are trying to do, um, uh, maybe I'll just tell you about it later on. So right. uh, we initially we started with just a planning app. So if you see our initial vlogs or initial things, you'll see that we are just around, you know. Uh, uh, around pitching, around planning, keeping everything on one platform. But eventually, meta search engines come, uh, came in pictures like Skyscanner, Vigo, and everything, mm -hmm. using which we would enable users to, you know, make bookings and let them uh, compare the their travel uh, needs. So, for example, mm -hmm. you know, Trivago, right? So, if yeah. I want to go somewhere, yeah. I, I'll definitely compare at least five to six uh, hotels, mm -hmm. and then I finalize mm -hmm. my plan. So uh, with ease of, you know, APIs and everything integrating it, we also extended our platform and then we decided to, you know, go full fledged into this part also, the e-commerce part. Yeah, I, I just wanted to talk about, talk about Trivago. Trivago. Yeah. Uh, 
we understand that there are so many you know uh, platforms are there we, we, we already know yatra.com make my trip.com and we we know all these things uh, what makes it difficult for the layman the normal user who wants to use internet uh, there are so many options available in terms of travel traveling so when it comes to the challenging part because you as, as you say there is a very unique concept and it is for, maybe for the very first time it has been introduced to the world and similarly trivago came with the same you know a very unique concept in its own way and they are just saying that it is a very unique concept by their their side so kavita what kind of challenges you are facing since you have started your own company so how how you are conveying the message to the people that why your website or your application is different than the existing other travel portals exactly so we are still facing this problem because uh, as, especially in india because in us and europe we have a lot of users now we have like yeah. 40% of traffic after 2 years but yeah. uh, why to use my trip karma has been always a challenge you know whenever i go and pitch to someone they immediately compare us with my uh, make my trip and make my trip is a billion dollar company but That's we are right. a completely different model from make my trip or uh, you know trivago or uh, any other trip trip advisor so because we uh, pull together all of this detail on one single platform so if so my trip karma completes the entire traveling cycle and that's why we call it a your you know karma of travel and that's how we came mm. up with the name my trip karma so for right. example if you start let's say if you have a thought in your mind that i want to go to europe after 6 months so your right. travel plan your travel thought process starts from there but what what do you do with it either you just write it on a paper or tell your wife or you know maybe write in an excel sheet that these are my dream trips or maybe these these places i wanted to go now right. what would you do if Six months, you know, just research which hotel I want to stay, and you know, you just put it somewhere in Excel file or just maybe WhatsApp your friends, and so mm. everything is scattered all over the places. So there are uh, discussion yeah. platforms for WhatsApp, emails, everything. Then there are a content platform where you go, like say TripAdvisor, or you go to Zomato mm. to read the review of the stuff, and then right. there are comparing sites. So Trivago, Skyscan, Trivago, these are the meta search engine which just gives you comparison. But when you want to make a booking, you have to go to that particular website. Let's say you on Trivago, you can compare Goa and Vigo and uh, Make My Trip Room. And if you find yeah. Make My Trip Room, you'll go to Make My Trip to make a booking. You won't won't go to the Trip Trivago's website to make a booking. They don't, right. you know, fulfill the bookings. So that is just a comparison part. So you see, the entire cycle of travel is, you know. us uh, saving your plan then you chat with your friends in whatsapp instead of that you come to my trip karma you you know start adding your friends and invite and invite them and tell them that this is the hotel i'm looking at or this is the beach i want to go do you think it's a good thing and they can write their comments over there only so sometimes right. in whatsapp it, it happens that you take a screenshot and then you yeah. send and say, you know let's go here but let's say i want uh, the, the next day i see the same screenshot i see the same rates but with my trip karma if you share a hotel and next day the room rate has changed then they'll see mm-hmm. the latest pricing so it's a very okay. unique thing you see uh, what where i'm going right so yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, because you know online travel today is very very time consuming and because there are so many things available already people spend disappropriate time of planning you know like looking looking up different website doing cost comparison indian hai to you know on cost comparison to correctly and finding right. the best deals and the best discounts we create our budget kisi ko five star mein rehna hai kisi ko you know three star mein rehna hai so everything we do this so at the same time people use different applications for different things as i said whatsapp mm-hmm. email mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. so this is a big problem that we have identified to organize everything on single page still you mm-hmm. using your preferences so i am not yeah. telling you to don't make booking on make my trip i'm telling you use your preference but come to my trip karma plan everything here and make a booking via make my trip maybe because you have some deals or you have some points with make my trip and you still want to book from there so you can do that right so we are giving yeah. the user the ease Uh, we let them keep their preferences but we are also helping them organize everything on one single right. platform right right, right. so right yeah so that's why so we are filling this huge gap that is what we think and that is uh, that is what was in our mind we ran the poc for one year uh, we had a lot of contacts in travel so for which started with 25 internal people and now we are like about uh, more than 35000 users using our app oh, from so more than all over the world 
that's so good that's so good kavita do you really think that do you think that india is a mature country or the audience of the uh, of this country are mature enough to use the e-commerce platform as per its actual you know uh, the usage for an example when you talk about e-commerce to any layman for them e-commerce is all about amazon.com or flipkart.com but when it comes to this kind of concept do you think that indians are still that much mature it will take some time for them to understand yes yes absolutely because see in uh, what we study a lot behavior of users and uh, we have identified that we have we being indian company i have the lowest uh, conversion rate from india the problem oh. is that you what we identified is that indian even me I, i'll also tell my experience that i am skeptical on swiping my credit card online i was Up before two years, I was skeptical, and even the in many Indians are very skeptical spending their money on it because they don't know security and and यहाँ पे you know इतने सारे वो scam भी होते हैं कि everybody gets scared. So yeah, that yeah. is one thing, but but because of Amazon, Make My Trip also gives an amazing service. Uh, yeah. It all gives a great security to the transaction. So now people are slowly moving towards it, but. India is little behind, I think, but we'll get there. <laughs> Absolutely, Kavita. I have seen your uh, some pictures on Facebook. I, I think few months back you came on the TV also in one of the startup pitching fest. I have gone through that. I'm following you from last many months now. So, Kavita, because because it is all about startups, and because I am associated with so many startup companies, startup initiators here in Surat. So my my I I always felt that whenever I will listen to so many startup ideas, most of the startup ideas are are surrounded by the e-commerce initiatives on so do you think the startup should mainly focus on the e-commerce or they can even think about some physical companies or physical startups as well uh it completely depends upon what kind of startup it is but for example in case of travel you can completely make it uh, online e-commerce platform right. because uh, but there is maybe If you want to sell a TV, that you also can buy today online via e-commerce. The only thing is the physical thing is get delivered to your place. But oh. yeah, travel has been a brick and mortar for last ten years, and now it is becoming click and mortar. So I yeah. can only comment about travel. I'm not sure about other businesses, but of course it's so easy. You know, you click, you see the thing, and you buy it. And yeah. I think uh, why one should not go for the online e-commerce uh, uh, model. I'm That's not sure. Awesome. There might be some specific thing which I am not sure about. But Kavita, for travel, like he, I'll show you. <laughs> yes, yes, they can go with it. Kavita, like one, 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 one uh, uh, like uh, the the question related to the theme of this talk show, because we are talking about the digital platform and the technology along with the marketing as well. So, do you? How do you plan? Like you said that there are thirty-five thousand uh, people who are you who are using your application. the number of users in india are lesser than compared to the other countries so what 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 comes in your strategy when it comes to digital marketing for your app or your website right so I, you being a expert of digital marketing you might have seen uh, our profile you yeah. you can see we are writing a lot of blogs Yes. Uh, we attend a lot of events. Uh, I network personally a lot. Uh, my co-founder, he has a he has twenty five years of experience in travel, and he also has a great network. So we emphasize a lot on content. And uh, since we are a startup, you know what I do is we go to we as soon as the college uh, guys are free, we ask them for internship. They work for free for us, and you know write some good uh, blogs for us. You know? So. we find some hacks and like this but we always make sure to create a great content of over internet we uh, and uh, you know we write around the latest happening travel things right uh, and uh, basically we are there on every social platform to be you know digitally present everywhere you can go to pinterest you can go to uh, <laughs> like linkedin or you you find everywhere my chef karma <laughs> okay so now this is this is for all the users if you, if you are using all the platform other than facebook then make sure yeah. you are connected a uh, lot of people follow that but we are uh, we believe in crowd speaking Uh, yeah. Right, and uh, we use a lot of crowd speaking concepts and a uh, lot of growth hacking things we found out around travel and which works for us also. Maybe right. some of the growth hacking 
techniques are legend after this call <laughs> <laughs> absolutely like recently we had the the talk show on the growth hacking only from amar amar kanchwala from hyderabad i think that was a very interesting oh. talk as well yeah, okay. Kavi- yes yes kavita uh, now because yesterday was the women's day and we we were just started our talk with the women's day uh like normally what we see that as a female entrepreneur mostly you must have faced some challenges initially or maybe still today you are facing some challenges so are there any challenges being a female entrepreneur see i think i have been very lucky then in that case uh, in my case it has been completely reverse scenario <laughs> because uh, I think I have similar experience as you, but I have got some amazing exposure. I, I went to national television. I went to yes. some of events just because I was, uh, you can say, a woman or female entrepreneur. And right. because there are so many events and things which are just focusing women's, hmm. and I have got a lot of uh, benefit of that. I'll frankly tell you. So yeah. in some places I'm just invited because I'm a female entrepreneur in Ahmedabad. There are very less female entrepreneurs. Yes. Uh, there are, but. Uh, so i think i have always been benefited from this uh, i've never faced any challenge i have got very great support from the, my co-founder or wherever i go i've always got a great right. immense support. so i wouldn't say i have ever faced any challenge even investors they speak more politely to me at that what i've seen because i i may have seen that they are just uh, when somebody gives a elevator pitch they don't even listen but when <laughs> as a they give us respect so i've always received yes. that i think uh, i think i should be this should be motivating for all the women's watching i think i think yeah, actually i was about to say that same thing that i think you are you are prompting entrepreneurs like me and others who can start involving female as a partner <laughs> yes <laughs> and <laughs> Okay, Kavita. Uh, uh, okay, uh, this is the this is for the audience. If you have any questions, please drop your question in the comment box below so that we can pass this question. I can pass this question to Kavita. Uh, Kavita, uh, yes, uh, because I think you have mobile app, right? Yes. Okay. So, do you do anything specific uh, so that you can increase the downloading of your mobile app? Is there any any specific uh, activities you are doing? Yeah. So first of all, what we do is we keep on updating our uh, keywords right. and do a lot of detail uh, AOS, uh, ASO, uh, App Store yeah. optimization. Yeah. Yeah. And what we have done is there there are very classic things. You know, the classic SEO is using the right keyword. There are just four thousand character limits, so just choosing the right description of the app. Yeah. and uh, we always make sure that somebody let's say somebody registers right mm-hmm. and uh, for a b2c so as soon as we find somebody registered we just ask them to you know yeah. download the app and give us a review so most yeah. of the time you can go and see we have got five star review already wow. and uh, we have also installed a talk to kind of a chat messenger so if somebody is stuck somewhere they just uh, you know write a message and we fix the thing immediately so user feel that you know they're um issue has been heard and we reward them immediately if we are uh, coming up with some new feature we always email mm-hmm. them send a newsletter we keep yeah. the conversation going with our 35000 users right. so yeah and yeah that is about so i think uh, reviews uh, help a lot because whenever even i am downloading a app i'll just first of all check the reviews That's and how many review. downloads have been done right. so yeah Okay, Kavita. Before we 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 uh, we are approaching to the end of the session, but I have a very interesting question for you. Yes. Uh, it, it's a technology oriented business, and we need we we know that technology is changing each and every day, and it is very difficult to cope up with the changing technology. You are, uh, you know, you are hiring new people with the with the know how of the latest technology. You are. you are spending lots of money and more than that you have to bring something unique thing very new thing in your business so down right. the line if you see uh, five years after five years or maybe six seven years do you do you have any plan for the further technological enhancement in your current platform yes absolutely and that's a very good question because uh, our our gro- growth plan is up till fifth year that we have planned Uh, usually it's three years that people plan, but we are planning up till fa- uh, fifth year, and we are planning to make uh, right now thirty five thousand users. We we want to reach to hundred thousand users by the end of fifth year. So for that, yeah. uh, up, when two years back when we started my trip karma, the uh, the uh, 
phone usage were not as much as today's you know people were not using app as much as they are using today so since that time we had uh, you know thought about that what would be the future of uh, my trip karma because people are slowly moving from web to phone and then yeah. phone to maybe google glass because travel travel is something that google glass is coming to picture and everything is going to be disrupted right because right. you wear the glass and you see at the place and everything and you get all the information then you don't see that app planning so Absolutely. we have also got the till google glass and similar technology you know in travel that wow. is uh, there is also chatbots coming in picture ai right. coming in picture. but that's a long term story but we we think about it and we have completely our uh, our technology is completely soa based so service oriented architecture so that's why whenever something changes our our back end remains the same and we de- design ui the way we want so we had web then we we design ios then we design you know uh, android and if, if there is any other technology we'll do that also <laughs> so oh, wonderful wonderful so uh, kavita like uh, we are up now winding up the session but before we wind up few words from your side because there are so many female who are watching and who are going to watch later on uh, okay. so i want i want few words as an entrepreneur plus the use of the technology as an entrepreneur from the words from your side uh, okay uh, i'm very bad at giving advices i'm not sure how someone would <laughs> And I myself don't like taking a lot of advice. So. <laughs> See, like <laughs> you, you, you must have observed. You, you must have experienced something. So. Any women? I, I'm not like I'm a woman. I'm a man. So it's for everyone. Okay. I mean, if you love something, you you should do it. And if you think you know you are doing something very unique, then put your hundred percent into it. And at least take a risk once. If you fail, then yeah. it's fine. If you don't fail then it's a great thing so in my case it's the same thing we tried and uh, we thought that let's take a risk and try this you know so right. i'll just suggest that you want to do that and if, i i didn't catch your second question what was it uh, the use of the technology as an entrepreneur oh that's the best thing because right now there are so many open source free things for uh, entrepreneurs you know i got 1000 dollar credit from aws just because i have a startup mm-hmm. So keep on searching things like that. Uh, you know, so there are so many things available now uh, for startups to in the technology area. So great, keep great on advice. I think that your last words are going to be stuck in the mind of so many people. There are you know the word free was there. That is the reason. <laughs> Okay, th- thank you so much, Kavita, for spending time with us. And along with you, I have a very small announcement for rest of the people. Uh, we are going to i am going to come live once again today at 10:30 pm ist tonight because mm-hmm. i am going to talk with uh, mark gubarti mark gubarti is from new york he is a 19 year old boy from new oh. york and guys he has more than 4 lakh social media followers he has the blue tick mark uh, uh, twitter profile he is running 30 plus udemy courses he has more than 25000 online students and he is just 19 years old so wow. i'm going to so i think i think this would be a very interesting talk for me and for the I audience is yeah definitely also yes. i would also definitely so it's today 10:30 pm so see you again in the night and thank you so much once again kavita and uh, guys if you have any question you can still drop your questions later on kavita would like to answer that and please go and visit mytripkarma.com i have already kept the url in the comment section download the mobile app use it give the review and if you have suggestion you can give it to kavita as well thank you so much boy yeah. thank you thank you so much bye thank you bye